Hi, as you can see, I'm wearing a wig, and the reason I'm wearing this wig is because I bought it for my movie project, Majestic Domestic. Unfortunately, I don't know at this point if it's even going to be made, so I thought, hey, why don't I get my money's worth? A long time ago on the Bedroom Scenes Facebook page, someone asked me to make a video explaining how to do a Pat Quinn impression. And I said, hey, jackass, Lizzie played Magenta, not me. But anyway, since I'm here, why don't I show you how to do a Pat Quinn impression? Now, I'm not really promising anything because my impression's gotten pretty bad over time. It used to be a lot better when I used it for callbacks, but I don't really do callbacks anymore, so it's gotten really rusty, and it's probably just going to sound awful. But the least I can do is just go through it and show you some little details I used to use to make it more accurate. Now, the key thing I noticed about her voice is that she always keeps her bottom jaw very tense, which you can see the most in shock treatment. When she talks, it's almost as if her bottom jaw doesn't move at all, and you have to really do that. You have to really tense up the muscles and try not to move your bottom teeth at all if you want to do her voice. One thing I've noticed is the distinctive way she says certain vowels. Like when she says the I and little Nell, her mouth goes very wide, almost as wide as you can make it when she says little Nell. And notice how the Nell is very, you know, there's a lot of mouth movement, there's a lot of exaggeration. Other times her mouth goes very small, like when she says the O in shock treatment. And notice it's very low, very, again, very exaggerated shock treatment. So once you have the two key factors of her voice down, the very tight jaw and the very exaggerated vowel sounds, then you can try practicing with topics that she generally talks about in interviews. Like imagine her telling a story about the Rocky Horror Picture Show, or Shock Treatment, or Little Nell, or Susan Sarandon's Damn Flu, or Whiskey, or her husband Robert. Another thing I've noticed is how she uses the word anyway when she gets off topic. For example, she'll be talking about something Little Nell did in shock treatment and start talking about Richard O'Brien and get completely off topic and then laugh and go anyway and then go back to very quickly to what she was... Uh, I have a fucking wing in my mouth. And then sometimes her voice will go very hoarse as if she's running out of breath. I guess when she's very excited about something like those wonderful doors in the dining room scene in the Rocky Horror Show. So those are the basics of Pat Quinn's voice. You just have to work on the very tight jaw, the very exaggerated vowel sounds. Obviously there's an accent which mine is probably not the best, but it is a big part of it. And once you hear in interviews a few times, you start to pick up on it. So yeah, hopefully that was some help in case any of you feel the need to impersonate Pat Quinn. And since I do have this wig and I don't know what's going to be done with it, I don't know if it's going to be used for anything, I was actually thinking of making more videos. I've come up with different ideas for videos. I'm actually thinking of sort of developing a character, almost, you know, to go to Rocky as, because I'm, I'm tired of going as myself. So I was thinking I could come up with a character of some sort, call it, like, your friendly neighborhood Mangenta or something. No, that, well, that's stupid, but I'll come up with something. And if you're watching this because some hater told you to, my question is why? Don't you have a job? Don't you have hobbies? Don't you have friends? Don't you have a relationship? I don't fucking know. So that pretty much brings this video to a close. I'm Steve, and I, I feel so pretty right now.